video is not financial advice. I am not a financial planner. It is for entertainment purposes only. It's the one, the only, a father in the house baby. Wow! All right. I, I want to make a couple of shout outs. Look, the A Father, you know, when he came out and he was saying that, you know, other uh, YouTubers that have, uh, you know, AMC uh, YouTube channels should all prove their apes. I started getting a lot of hate, as you know. You saw it in my comment section, right? I mean, I was just like blown away because I'm just looking to protect my ape family. So I just figured, you know what? I'll do my own thing. Let them do their own thing and the ape will do, do, will do his own thing. But you know something? One of my buddies... You know, E-Bomb, you know, Eric, okay? Uh, when I say buddy, let me be perfectly clear because there's a lot of wise guys on YouTube. I never met Eric before. I met him because he started following me, you know, on my channel. And he liked what the ape baller had to say. He subscribed to my channel. And like I keep in touch with a lot of apes, I kept it, you know, touch with Eric, right? Eric was like, you know, ape baller, instead of focusing on the hate, right, focus on the love. Focus on all the apes that love you, and that's what I want to start doing. He's 100% right. Jimmy King, okay? Jimmy King is saying that, Ape Father, your voice matters in defending this movement. Jimmy, thank you very much. You're very appreciative. The Ape Father loves you. Tom M. Tom M. Right there with you. Keep up the good work. <laughs> this is Br Brilla Scarilla. <laughs> I love that name. The never ending story was my shit. Oh, that's awesome. I love that. Is that such a great movie? There was actually another Never Ending Story. It was a Never Ending Story 2. I never really got into that one like the first one, though. I think there might even be a Never Ending Story 3. I gotta look it up. The first one was basically my favorite. That's the one I was hooked on. But um, Diamond Nuts has always been <laughs> Diamond Nuts. So I love That is a funny name, man. That, I have to give you props on that. Diamond Nuts. <laughs> he, he's, uh, but he spells it N-U-T-T-Z. It's like, you know, not nuts, you know, with the S. He's got the TTZ. He's always been a big supporter of the A Father. I love you. And I got to say, none. You know, none, you know, N O N E. You know, he, uh, he used to he used to break my balls, none. He used to break my chops, but now none, none has come around. And then we're going to just do uh, one more right now, okay? James O'Neill Brown. James O'Neill Brown. He's always been a strong ape, a positive ape. And I just wanted to thank you. Okay. The reason for this video is also, besides showing the love, is uh, there was another ape, I'm trying to find him right now, who, who made a point. Just give me one second. I'm trying to find this ape. Where are you, ape? Give me one second. I'm looking at the comments as we're talking. Uh, let's see. Oh, here's another guy. Jerry Taylor. He's always been very supportive of the A Father. I love you, Jerry Taylor. You, you, you're the man. Wasted in America. He always goes, Wee! I love it, baby. All right. Um, I don't know if I'm going to find this guy. Where is this guy? He's gone. Oh, here it is. I got him. I got the ape, baby. Andrew Mol Molika. He goes, you know, I made a video saying that you only lose when you sell. So he says, correction, okay? You only lose when you sell and the price is lower than what you bought it at, okay? He's right, okay? But here's my rebuttal to that, okay? Let's talk about that. I said, yes, correct. But let's say you sell at 100 and your average cost is $15. But then AMC goes to $100,000, I said, right? Do you still say you won? Not me, baby. Because I'm holding with my diamond balls of steel to Pluto, baby. So let's talk about that. Okay, so what would happen if, let's just say, you bought AMC back in January. Let's say you bought it at $5, whatever well, the case may be. And now let's say you sold it at 100 or you sold it at 200 You could technically say you won, right? Technically. What happens, though, so you're out. A month goes by, two months goes by, AMC goes to, uh, whatever, 100, 200,000 a share. I mean, how are you going to handle that? Me? Not good. <laughs> I might jump in there and stay down there. I don't I freak out, all right? Because this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, guys and girls. You got to hold to Pluto, okay? So I just wanted to touch on that point. Technically, you know, 
Listen, in any in any case of the stock market or in anything in life, when you make a profit, you're a winner. But when you got a once in a lifetime opportunity that can give you generational wealth, that can give you life changing wealth, that can change your life, your children's life, your grandchildren's life, your great grandchildren's life forever, you got to sell at the right price, right? You can't shortchange yourself. You got to sell at Pluto. So I just wanted to throw that in. All right. Thank you very much.